Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tuesday the 2nd of April, and as the thumbnail says, if I go for the thumbnail option I'm going for, um, it is a wonky mod day. <laughs> You're going to see as we go through. I've been on the phone, I've been chatting to DJ, um, because I thought I was going insane. You will see, we've got some updates today. The map Simple Midwest by Tash has had an update. The Lizard Art MPTO by Vanquish081 and the Lame of Animals by Namog Mod have had updates. In front of me, we've got the Forest Barrier. This is by Young Sienek. 0.68 megabytes download, four slots on console. You'll find it under build mode and decoration, not under fences, under decoration. This is the colour, I think this is the only colour option. Let's just double check that. I think I better had. Let's go to others. There we go. Yes, no colour option. You get it just like that. It opens outwards that way. So you can put it in your forest. You can put it anywhere you like. It hasn't got to be in the forest, but forest barrier on the entrances or exit to a forest. Pretty straightforward. That's by Young Sienek. Next. We've got these. This is the Crop Protection Fences by Vanquish081. 0 0.06 megabytes download, one slot, and then obviously that will price will change as well. This is designed as, um, well, protection from animals, foxes, rabbits, anything, voles, moles, well, moles probably not. Um, it depends how far down the fence goes into the ground. Um, now, the only downsides is these do have... Um, a collision so if you want to go a bit more realistic in protecting your root crops and those kind of things or any crops at all it's entirely up to you you can do all of your work on your fields once all your spraying's done you're good to go and they just need to be left to grow you can put these fences around your fields leave them until they're ready to harvest and then take the fences away it's just like i say it's just to add in that extra little bit and the build mode decoration and fences is where you find them right out on the end there nine obviously that will go up depending on how much you place so if i wanted to place it around the edge of the field same as with any fencing i can change direction if i press x now then change direction do it any way you want it's entirely up to you but obviously you want to go around your fields but like i said there is a collision on it um if i because i thought it might just be a sort of look thing and you can drive through them but no there is definitely a collision so once your crops are ready to harvest, you should be able to go into build mode, go into demolish, and then take them all out. Again, it's just to add that bit of immersion. It's, um, you know, not everyone's going to want to use them. You might find that's just a waste of time. That's entirely up to you. But if you want to add that little bit extra in, you can. The Crop Protection Fences by Vanquish081. Next, the first of our wonky mods. <laughs> This is the prefabricated sheds by Agro Piav Pix. 12.71 megabytes download, five slots and three slots. There are six in this pack. I've only put three out. You might notice something a little bit strange. Um, watch this. Uh, now if I open that one. Oh, it stayed on this time. They don't seem to go from where they should be. And when I closed this one last time, one fell off. And they, yeah, it's, it's, they're not... There you go, look. <laughs> I, honestly, you can't make it up. You, yeah, it's going to be one of those days. Under build mode and sheds is where you'll find them. Not that you're necessarily going to want to use them now. Um, we start off here. Um, there's no colour options on them, as you can see. So we've got basically a double-doored one, which is there. Um, when we've got this one, and it's solid at the back. The one next to it looks exactly the same, but it's got open panels at the back. Then this one is open all the way through. Then you've got this one, which is closed at the back, and that one, which has got open panels at the back. Those are your choices. 40 grand, 35, 34, 30, 25 and 24 thousand. But um, let's put this one down so let's place another one shall we watch the doors <laughs> it's 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 laughable because it's just comical it's just it's i've never seen anything like it i've never had a mod do that before what is happening um 
and then when you open and close them it seems to go it goes to the closed position and the open position both times it doesn't seem to wanna I, I, I don't know I just that's the fee the, 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 the fee fabricated the prefabricated sheds by agro PR picks don't worry because what we've got coming up next is brilliant this for me is the highlight of the mods today this is the farm shop by Omatana of course Omatana's a legend uh, we've got two sets here we've got cell points which are pretty standard but then what we've also got is a cell point but an, an immersive cell point I know a lot of people have found when you've got the self marketing if you want to set up a farm shop on your farm or, or near your farm or whatever it might be you take your product products to it and you sell it and a lot of people say but you're, that's just a sell point you're just selling your products but what Omatana's done very cleverly, she's made one set of these into a production. And when you take your items to them, you do own it. It does sell them, but it sells them per hour. So you get paid per hour. So it simulates you stocking up your farm shop and you get paid over time rather than being paid immediately. I love it. Such a clever idea. 35.23 megabytes download. The cell points on their own, like I said, there are three of them. We've got two Hofladens and one farm shop. They're 29 slots, 29 slots and 28 slots, 10 grand. And then we've got the factory versions of them. They're 19 slots, 19 slots and 18 slots. I think they're 10 grand as well. So under build mode, go to production and we go to our cell points first. So that's where you'll find the first three. Like I said, 10 grand each. Slot accounts will come down. I didn't... Obviously that was 29 slots, I didn't put the middle one in. But this one, or all of them, we have colour choices. We go across, this does the posts and pillars on this one. Which is the same on the middle one. But then the farm shop version, farm shop selling station American. When we do our colour choices on this one, it changes the siding rather than the posts. I like the, the wooden effect one, that's really cool. So those are the choices for the sell point. But if we come back out and we go to our factories... There you go. So there's our factories, and it shows the outgoing product is coins. It's money. It's what you earn. Um, Ten grand each. Slot counts. I've already talked about the slot counts. There you go. Nineteen, nineteen. Slot count comes down to one on that one. Same options for placing them. Same options for colour. That kind of stuff. So these ones, regular old sell point. If we go to our sell points, there we should have. There you go. Farm shop selling station, farm shop selling station, American. So prices are comparable to, you know, everywhere else. No problem at all. If we go along to this one, now what I'm curious about, and I've got some stuff here, is... Oh, actually, you can go into these as well. Sorry, look. We open the door. We can go in. Lights are on. Nobody's home. That's about right. You can sell pretty much everything, as you can see. We've got oils, we've got bread, we've got honey, we've got all sorts of stuff clothing and fabrics and you know you name it eggs cereal flour it's all here if we go to the one that's a production there's nothing on the shelves look i am curious to see i know i might be way off on this i don't know i hope not um our managed production is there to the side and as you can see once we turn all of these on what will be outgoing is money so on the hour, we'll get paid for our product. I like this. I think it's a brilliant idea for a farm, farm shop. I think that constant selling simulates much, much better you stocking up your own farm shop. Now, what I'm curious to see is, if I put some eggs in, will the shelves... I don't know if the shelves do st stock up. I don't know if they do, actually. I was hoping they would, but I'm not sure... That'll be the only downside if they don't, for me. I mean, it's a tiny thing, but I was just looking at the stuff that was, was on the shelves of the other one, and I thought, well, that'd be really cool, because the shelves are bare at the moment. Looks like I could be wrong, but maybe I need to switch them on for them to appear. But regardless, it's still it's a cracking idea. Absolutely cracking idea. Put some cake in as well. Why not? So if we go to here and we go to our items that we have put in. Uh, what do we put in? We put in eggs. 
Turn that on. We put in cake. We put in cereal, fabric. I didn't do the flower. Oh, it does! Oh, my days. Oh, Matana, you are a legend. Oh, this, this, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely overjoyed. Overjoyed. Was it canola oil or olive oil? Just put in there. Canola oil. Turn that on. So once you've switched them on, look. Our shelves are stocked and good to go. So I'm assuming what will happen is as those gradually sell or sell out, the shelves will become empty again. Is that not just a... That's just a brilliant idea. Absolutely fantastic. Omatana, oh, you're a legend. That's the farm shop by Omatana. Oh, I think I've hyped that one up enough. Next to that, we have got this. Garage with optional workshop. It's by Ikas. 6.29 megabytes download, 24 slots and 35 grand, or 10 slots and 20 grand. Because the option is, under tools, is where you'll find the workshop in the shed. Sorry, my ground's a little bit uneven here. Uh, we do have a light switch just in here, so we can turn our lights on. Workshop trigger is just here. Uh, when we turn those lights on, although it doesn't show on these, you can see on the ground the lights are on. If I go back to that and turn those off, so the exterior lights do come on at the same time as the interior lights. Got our switch panels here for our doorways. And we do have colour options on these too. So under build mode, go to tools. So there it is, 35 grand slot count comes down to one. So that's the version with the workshop. If we come to sheds, there's the standard version. I'll show you that one. So that one, like I say, that's 20 grand and slot counts only 10. And then we can scroll through the various different color options on that. There's a really big, bright pink Barbie, look at that, option if you want to go for that. So color option is available if you go for the shed version. That's the garage with optional workshop by ICAS. Next, we have got just here. We've got these. This is the Lizard Gamma. 3618 by Valek, 4.97 megabytes download. There are four slots each, and there are four in this pack. There are two at four meters and two at 2.2 meters. Can you guess which is which? That's the 2.2 meter, that's the four meter. Um, the difference is the, the two that are four meter are identical, apart from the fact that one has got black hoses and one has got yellow hoses. And the same with the 2.2 meter one. There are two that are identical, one's got black hoses, one's got yellow. I don't know why that wasn't put in this configuration option, because there are some configuration options, but it doesn't really matter. Um, these are cedars, 270 litres of seed in this one. This one, 540, because it doubles up. So it's a little bit narrow, narrower than having two of those. So you'll find these under tools, under cedars. And there you go, like I say, there are your options. Four grand for the four metre ones, and two grand for the 2.2 metre ones. Options on these, we can change the main colour to any one of those blues. Configuration colour does the top one, and then rim colour does the rim, like so. That's the same on both. So, what we'll do, I'm going to show the, I'll show the four metre, the two metre works exactly the same. Um, so, we'll hook it up to it. Covers open like that and closed the four meter has ridge markers the 2.2 meter doesn't so if we do our ridge marker i do like this sort of gravity you unclip it it just goes clunk drops down so that's a ridge marker if we switch ridge marker puts that one away that one drops down again or not if you don't want to have them on turn it on drop it down these are not direct drills you will need to have cultivated prepare the seed bed first before you go and there you go. That's the Lizard Gamma 3618 by Valek. Next. We've got this. The Massive Ferguson 23 by Adab Modding. ABP Team 3.08 megabytes download. Four slots, five meters. With a few different options. You'll find this under Cultivators. For that is what it is. 6,500. Slot count comes down to 1. 88 horsepower required. Main colour. And there's a load of different colours to choose from. It's entirely up to you what you want to go for. And the design colour does the tines. Again, there are some metallics. There's some very different ones you want to go for. 
more metallic-y look to it. You don't have to, it's entirely up to you. Or you can go for a coloured option if you want to. Again, entirely up to you. Five metres wide. Start this up. It does fold up. This is how you get it. But we can fold it, like so. For transportation. Now this should bring up stones. Because it's more of a chisel plough. There you go. It is bringing stones up. But five metres wide. 10, 11 miles an hour. Not bad at all. That's the Massey Ferguson 23 by A Dub Modding ABP Team. Let's disconnect that. Do I need a. Oh, I do. I was over here momentarily. Because next we have got these two. I'm going to swing around here. We've got the SIP Disc 260 by B Gamer 003. This is a rear side mounted mower. If we fold the mower up. For transportation. 6.67 megabytes download, three slots, 2.6 meters wide. Unfold it. There's no options on this. Can be used in conjunction with the front mower if you wish, or on its own as a side mower. That, of course, is entirely up to you. Your prerogative, as it always is. You will find it under mowers just there 6500 50 horsepower required stock count comes down to one as i said no options you get it just like that the sip disc 260 by b game 003 next just over here we have got the john deere b 12 foot grain drill this by EY Modding, 6.93 megabytes download, 6 slots, 3.6 metres wide. It is trailed, that's why I brought it on the retriever. It will take seed and it will take fertiliser. Nicely detailed. It doesn't fold up, as you can see, it comes just like that. This you will find also under cedars. Not a direct, direct drill either. Uh, just there, 10 grand for 3.6 metres, 60 horsepower required. No options on this, you get it just like that. Jump in here and start this up. Open cover, so we open the first cover, it's for your seed. Open next cover, opens up a little bit there. So 200 litres of fertiliser, 860 litres of seed. Like I said, not a direct drill. We can change our seed type if we want to. Turn it on, do we turn it on? Or is it just drop down? Let's try that again, shall we? Drop it down. Is that not working? Isn't that weird? It obviously needed the connections because it wouldn't let me turn it on when I was using the Mahindra. But now it has. There we go. So it does need to be turned on. You can see that, look at everything moving in there. That detail is incredible. Very nice indeed. That's the John Deere B 12 foot grain drill by EY Modding. Next. We've got this very cool looking piece of equipment. This is the Heisermat HM8 400 KLC by HR Forst and Fazoigbau. 17.19 megabytes download, 11 slots on console. As you can see, there is a tracked version and there is an Unreal Capacity version for this as well. This is a wood chipper, nice compact unit. You will find it under forestry equipment. Just there, 190 grand, 200 horsepower required. Now, as I said, we've got some capacity options. We'll go down to that first. We've got realistic at 16,000 litres. Now, unrealistic, that says 1,000. Now, it's each one is normally 1,000 litres. So that's 1,000, 1,000, isn't it? That's a million litres. I'm not misreading that, am I? That's a million litres. I'm sure it is. Anyway, so, if we go back up to the top. We have got the option of Trelleborg and Michelin, Nokian, BKT, Vredestein, Lizard, back to Trelleborg. Trelleborg, we've got those options. Just that on Michelin, just that on Nokian, 
BKT just that, Vredestein just that, Lizard we've got track set up 1 version 1 and 1 version 2, that just changes the tread, then we've got design version 2 version 1 and then design version version 2 version 2. So again just changes the treads after we've changed the rim for those fancy ones. Conveyor belt colour, come on to this side here, we've got colour option and if we go down uh, no, it just stays, I was going to say, surely that gives you an option, but no, it just stays like that, or you can have it silver. So I went for silver, because I thought it looked better. Beacon left, right, left and right. Capacity we've looked at. Crusher colour, that's the main section here. If we go yellow, that changes all of that bit there, that's now yellow. Bunker colour, that's the back section, that's your bunker. Let's put that red. Because then crane colour, we'll change that, and let's put that... No, let's go blue so it stands out a bit better. There we go. Is that blue? Purple? Lilac? It's an interesting colour. Um, claw colour. Let's go for a bright green on the claw colour. Rim colour. There's some metallics, polished metals, or you can go for a flatter colour if you want to, like that. And then licence plate option on there. So, what we will do is unfold the wood chipper. Just puts down support legs, opens that up. Beacons. If you've gone for one, two, both, whatever, that's fine. Now you might not want to use the crane, that's in type 2, you don't have to use the crane. But our crane options, left, right, up, down, in, out, shake it all about, L1, R1, rotate it, open and close it, and like so. If you want to use that, you don't have to. If we turn on the wood chipper, it turns the belt on. Now it hasn't got a very long belt on this, but that's fine. And the pipe goes directly into the back anyway, so you don't have to adjust the pipe it goes into the back because that's the bunker so what we can do is we can grab small bits if we want and throw them in we can use the crane to put things in or we can use other implements what i did find was and what you don't usually find you watch it not work now <laughs> this actually took hold of um a longer log really quite well because what you often find is it will start to fall off but it kind of once it grabbed it it was pretty good it just sort of went really so i get it to do the same thing again please work there we go there you go look at that just took that no problem at all so how you feed it is entirely up to you that's your prerogative i know i've said that previously but it is we've got 5,000 litres in there that wasn't just from that tree i just have a go with something else let's turn the wood chipper off unloading then if we unload here, for example, oh, we have got the option, of course. I'm um, sorry, I didn't say that. But we have got the option here for the um, crane we've talked about. L1, R1, left, six, side, side. We can adjust the support legs up and down as well, so we can change the support legs. But unload here. Moves the pipe out of the way. Lifts the whole thing up. So if you want to tip into a trailer or a sail point or whatever, the whole thing raises up like so whether you've gone for the standard capacity or the Unreal. I mean, the Unreal, you probably don't ever need to unload it unless you go to sell it. If, it, if I am right, and it's a million litres, I'm sure that's right. So there you go. I do like that with the tracks. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. That's the Heisermat HM8400 KLC by HR Forst und Fahrzeugbau. Next. We've got this. This is the Lizard CVC14000 by Vulex and Spico. Spico, Spico, no Spico. It is 7.26, 7.76, sorry, handwriting. 7.76, uh, 7.76 megabyte download, six slots, 13.2 meter wide spread width. There aren't a lot of options on this. You'll find this under slurry tanks. 35 grand, 130 horsepower required. We've got the option of trailer Borg, Michelin, and back. Just those two. Main colour, that or that. Red or a galvanised look. Those are your choices. Start this up. We've got turn on the slurry tanker. Activate double application rate. No other options. So if we turn it on now. There's our spread width and this will run at 10 miles an hour. Single application. If I activate double application. And then turn it on. It will only run at 5 miles an hour, but it is putting twice the fertiliser down at the same time. And that's it. 
No options for pipes or opening covers or anything like that. We've got lights on it, we've got indicators on it. Barely straightforward. Makes a pleasant change, doesn't it? Doesn't stop it being nicely made though, nicely detailed. There you go. That's the Lizard CVC 14,000 by Vulex and Spico. Next, <laughs> wonky mod time. Um, so, I know a lot of people have been very excited about this coming out. I've had a few people messaging me. I've had people message me today saying, it's pending release, it's pending release. Um, this is the best way, Ag Retriever SLT by Solar Guy Modding, 19.6 megabytes download. 14 slots each, there is a load of different versions of this, different lengths, um, different options with regard to tanks, um, connections, whether you've got a flatbed on here or open, it does have tension straps on this section, you can have an option for ramps so you can put other equipment and things on it as well, it's a versatile trailer. However, um, there seem to be a lot of controls missing, and this is one. This is what I spoke to DJ about because I spent about half an hour setting this up, trying to work out how this mod worked, and I could not get it to work. So I messaged him. He rang me, and he said he's had exactly the same problem. I think there's an option on PC where you can press a key and it changes something, which we don't seem to have on console. Um, and there's also, there seem to be a lot of moving parts and things that look like they should operate. But again, there's no, there's no option for them. Um, plus, we've got a tank here for fuel. It says about there being standard and an unreal capacity. I did one of each and it was the same capacity. I didn't get any difference in capacity. Uh, what else did, did I find? Oh, there's two different options. There's a simple control and a manual control. I, as far as I can tell, they're exactly the same so i don't want to do the modder a disservice there's obviously something's gone wrong in the script scripting um some part of coding is either missing or going over from pc to the console version it's just it's dropped off or it hasn't been included you know i'm not i'm not going to go absolutely bonkers about it it was just frustrating because i thought it, it does look pretty cool i'll show you the operation of it this has got a three point link attachment on it and i think this is supposed to look at where the pins are you're supposed to be able to take the three-point link off. There's a button you're supposed to be able to press that does that, which allows you to use it as a header trailer. That's where you'll find it, under header trailers. Or you can use it with a three-point link, and you can pick up and load three-point link mounted equipment. The point being with this trailer, you can then transport any of these things at highway speeds rather than at the speed of a tractor or a trailer that's not rated for highway speeds. That's the point behind it. And the way it operates is very cool. Um, it's just frustrating, like I say. So... You will find it, them, under header trailers, and there are quite a few options. So out on the end there, you've got simple controls and manual controls. I, I couldn't see a difference between the two. Um, we'll, we'll run through, I mean, in essence, it's just different sizes. It starts this one. We've got some in gooseneck and some in bumper pull. Same versions roll through the different ones. So we start off on gooseneck, 20GL. I'm not going to read out all the numbers at the top, but that's the 20GL. That's the 24. That's the 24 GLX HD. <laughs> Let's go back again. So it starts with that, 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 that. And we go to a 16 short cross track. 16B, 20, and then we go. So we're on bumper pulls now. Then we go through all the bumper pull options. And then we go back to goosenecks on the shore and then we run through yeah, there's a whole load now because that one just has the attachment which looks looks like it's for header trailer or a three point the next one has this other attachment there which again i can't get to work doesn't matter what i do I, there's no i can't get anything to work on that um so that's the various different lengths which i would assume is for different header sizes now you need to be on a longer one like that, for example, or if we go to the, where was the 24? There you go, if we go for the 24, if you go for the longer ones, it gives you an option to have a floor on that front lattice section. So I'll show you that now. So on all of the options, then we've got warning beacons, and it's, this is the same on the other version as well. All the options are the same. Warning beacons, no or yes. We've got red and white strips on the side, orange and white, red and orange, or no. You got spare tire, yes or no? 
on the various different versions. We've got white decal none, so you've got the decals here and on that angled bit you can see just in the middle. So we can go yes puts the decal on there, the best way ag, and then we go for white decal puts the decal down there at the sort of just in front of the, the foremost axle. You've got capacity, so you've got none, bulk fuel tank one, 400 litres, bulk fuel tank two, 400 litres, unreal, still 400 litres. Now I thought it might be a typo, but it didn't matter which version I put it on, it was only putting 400 litres in. Uh, we, so then we've got the loading deck, so if you've got a long enough version to have that as an option, you can have a loading deck on there and a little loading deck to the side down there as well. Mainframe, anything on this palette, there's a whole load to choose from. Does the mainframe. Accent colour is the other bits you'll see on there. Let's go for yellow to make those stand out. Those are your accent bits. Decking, now you'll have a decking option regardless of whether you've got a long enough length. So if you change that and you can't see what's changed, it's because you haven't got a long enough one to have the actual the decking added on. Uh, let's go with orange decking for example, so it sort of stands out. Fender colour, mix and match, however you want to go about that. And then rim colour option on there too with the license plates. So like I say, that one is the same, but it says manual controls and all the options are exactly the same for the lengths, the capacities, the all the different options, your warning stripe, spare tire, brand decals, capacity, all that kind of thing is all the same. So what I will do is I'll show you on this one first. So as you can see, got the gooseneck version on here. And what this will give me the option to do is unfold cutter trailer which opens that up and swings that whole lot around, which I think is brilliant. The way that works is absolutely amazing, but it looks like there should be way more options on this. Now it also says, which is interesting, it says turn on the cutter trailer. So I thought well, maybe that will add some different options on. So I turned on the cutter trailer. It didn't seem to give me any other options. Um, L1, R1 and right stick up and down gave me the option to raise and lower that and move it so I can swing it manually if I want to. Can bring it all the way down so this will at the moment hook up to three point attachments any piece of equipment with three point you can do that if i do what i did before i can raise that up off the ground a little bit there we go and then i've got the option then to fold that cultivator swing it around so you can transport three point link mounted stuff on the trailer which is pretty cool but i'm sure there are supposed to be some more options so let's no go back to that fold cutter trailer that will swing that whole lot back round again for transportation. It does hang out quite a long way over the side, so it depends what you're going to be putting on there. You've got to think carefully about what you put on there. But you can see that all this, look, this, the sticks are moving, the joysticks for control. It, it's very cool. We do have tension straps still on this front section, even though we don't have um, a deck on there. And I haven't gone for the option with um, ramps. Did I show? Did that give us an option for that? Yeah, there is an option for loading ramps. I'm not going to go too heavily into it because let's say I'm assuming this is getting and get an update because I'm, I'm curious to know what all this does because it looks like three point with that these lift up independently one side for a three point link mounted piece of equipment one side for a header trailer I, I don't know but I can't seem to get that to work so that's that one and this one I've gone for slightly like say slightly different options it won't hook up to the header trailer, so I won't even try. We can still unfold it. You can see that the control's been manipulated. And the level of detail on it is amazing. Don't get me wrong. I also came out here thinking, maybe you need to enter the vehicle to adjust stuff. Maybe there's an option for that, but nothing came up there. Um, so that will still swing, swing around, and I, yeah. but there, there should be an option for this to be removed so you can put header on there. Anyway, that being said, we come back to here and we open cover. If you've gone for the ramp options, it puts the side ramps on if you've got the loading deck as well. Now L1 and right stick, was it L1 and right stick sides up and down? There we go, so we can open and close the width of that. And then R1 and right stick side to side, we can move that along. So depending on what you want to put on there, could be a quad bike, could be anything, whatever it might be. But there are ramps there for putting things on. You might want to put another piece of equipment on it. In which case you might want to back something up. 
and put it on the top there and strap it down because it does have tension straps and then we can close the cover put that away so there we go the other thing as well with these they're very long even the short ones have got quite a big turning circle so you've got to allow yourself plenty of room for turning with these so like I say I'm, I'm really hoping um, that, that they do get an update because I want to I want to see these in full swing you know it might be that they they won't come to console I don't know I hope they do they were supposed to be um, and I have been through all the options and, I, and I've said this many times before when you get to a point where you can't find an option you start then questioning your sanity I have done mod reviews before when people then message and go oh there was a really obvious solution to it or there was a, a there was a button configuration that wasn't showing but if the button configuration is not showing, it just becomes hit and miss. It becomes uh, it becomes luck if you find it. And that's why I messaged DJ, because I, I really thought I was going mad. So anyway, that's the Best Way Ag Retriever by Solar Guy Modding. Next, we've got this. This is the John Deere 8R Series 2020 by Dints. This is a very nice tractor with a whole load of options. I'm not going to read out all the tyre choices because there are so many. 20.58 megabytes download, 30 slots on console. You'll find this under large tractors. 235 grand slot count comes down to two. Now, we do have a whole load of options on this one. So where it says engine setup, if I go to the right now, it goes from power shift to auto power all within the same horsepower so 326 horsepower and this changes stuff inside the cab depending on the real world variants of this so with auto power we've got right hand reverser e23 e23 right hand reverser now if you're into your you know if you know your john deere's all the things that should be changing in the cab are changing uh, we then go to command pro and then we switch to 357 horsepower. It runs through all the same options. So as I scroll across, all the same options I just spoke about. Finishing on Command Pro, then we go to 388 horsepower. And again, if you're looking at the cab inside, you can see those things changing as we go through. Then we go to 420 horsepower, all those options. 458 horsepower. And then back to 326. So 458 is the highest it will go. We've then got Will Brand of Michelin, Trelleborg, Mitus, Continental, BKT, Vlodstein, and back to Michelin. Now, Michelin and Trelleborg are what the most options. Again, I'm not going to read all these out and I'm not going to go through all of them. Just to show you an example under Michelin or Michelin. I keep thinking it's going to crash. There are so many. It, it's crazy. Not all of them are the same. They go to narrows, rear narrows, narrow twins, and back to standard. That's just under mission. Now, not all of them are the same. If we go back to, let's go to BKT, I think it was. BKT, we've got standard, standard two, standard three, wide. Wheel weights, wheel weights too. I mean, let's say there are tons to go through and have a look at. I'm not going to go through all of them. When we come to the top. We've got. Wasn't kidding when I said it was a wonky mod day. I just said the game crashed twice on me. <laughs> Brand new PlayStation 5. Shouldn't be doing it. Um, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, it bogged right down. I've taken all of the, the mods off that we've already looked at. So I'm just going to. And I the, the vehicles that you would just saw outside, I now haven't got. So let's go through this now. So, Starfire. We've got holder, we've got the 6000, and then you've got the 6000 with the different screens inside. You've got the GS4640, is it GS or G5? Oh, G, GS, and then the GS. You've got RTK, puts the RTK things on the top with the different screens inside. And you've got the 7000 with screens inside, with RTK on the roof. And then you've got built-in when we go through that, integrated, so you're 
the whole Starfire system is integrated in. Screens on the inside, and then it puts the um, RTK antennas back there as well, rather than either side of it, which is actually quite a cool look. I like that. Um, and then back to no additional equipment. We've got standard. We've got electric bonnet opener. Foot rests inside, puts foot pegs in there. Bonnet camera. Various different options, and you can have all options. Then you've got signature edition. What changed on there? Don't just put a little, yeah, just a little thing on the door. Then you've got the Agri Technica 2023. Look at that. That is fantastic. So all those options available to you. Light standard LED. Then displays. Inside you've got the 4600 or the G5 Plus. You've got a new gen corner display and back again. You've got radio standard. or We've got the new radio in there as well. New gen radio. We've got additional lights standard. We've got two at the top, eight at the bottom. Or all which I think I went for. Seat controls, standard, and then you've got the multifunctional joystick. That's just for the look, that's inside. So you've got those different options in there. Then we've got various different options on fenders. So we've got narrow back, standard back, wide back, wide back two. And then we go to front and back, same options. I think I went for that one originally. Then back to narrow back. Uh, we've got exhaust, short exhaust, or long exhaust. Then you've got with warning signs, short and long exhaust. Front mounting, we've got various different weight options. You've then got three point link, sorry, full weight, three point link without PTO, three point link with PTO. Capacity, add blue, yes or no, you can take the add blue off if you don't want it. Seat, you can have standard or leather, and then we've got a license plate option on there. We got there in the end, didn't we? So let's lease that, because now I haven't got it. And here it is lights so we've gone for the multi-light option all the way around which is rather cool l1 r1 right stick side to side swivels the chair you can see that inside and from interior swivels swivels our chair and then l1 r1 and right stick up and down we can raise and lower the nose like that it sounds fantastic turn the lights off interior so you've got the new radio if you've gone for that the various different monitors joysticks foot rests if you've gone for foot rests and it does sound amazing and it looks pretty good too So there you go, we got there in the end, the John Deere 8R Series 2020 by Dints. Next, because I just had to take this one as well, we've got the Fent 300 Vario S4 by Schnibbel modding 39.61 megabytes download, 31 slots on console, you'll find it under small tractors, right there, 85,500. So we've got the standard 113 horsepower, 123 horsepower, 133 horsepower or 142. We've then got the option of Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Mitus, BKT, Vredestein, Nokian, back to Trelleborg. So we've got these options, which in the real world can inflate or deflate your tyres on the go. You've got wide with an option on that as well, wide three, four with that as well, narrows, rear twin, rear twin, twin, back to standard. Michelin, we go through the same options on that one. Then Continental is a bit different. We don't have those other options for the inflation system. Midas, BKT, just those two. Vredestein. Nokian, communal. And then back to that one, like so. You've got wheel weights, you've got flange weight, 300 kilo, no. i put that on there because we do have an option for colour on that. Then we've got model year 2015-2020. Now, I, the only thing I could see that changed was down in there, see the, there's a pedal there that's orange at the moment. The 2015 version, it's black. The 2020 version, it's orange. I couldn't see anything else that changed. <laughs> there must be other things on the real world version, but that's all I could see on this model that changed. 
Then you've got mirror at wide angle, wide angle electric, back again. Then you've got settings, power, and again, this changes your joystick settings and stuff there. So you've got power, you've got Profi, Profi Plus, back to power. You've got beacon lights, no, left, right, both, or off. We've then got warning signs, yes or no, like that. We've got lighting, halogen or LED. We've then got panoramic vision plus, so it's got the panoramic, panoramic window to the side and panoram panoramic at the front. You've then got panoramic at the front with cabin door at the side, so rather than panoramic it's got a door with hinges. Uh, you've then got standard cabin which has got a bar across the centre section and a normal door at the side or back to panoramic. Now I'm going to put it on that one with door right because there was an option that I, I, I couldn't work out. It was making a noise but nothing was working so it could be that. You've got front loader attacher, fent, quick, power or off. I went with the fent because I thought it looked quite cool on there. Main colour, let's go, no let's go petrol blue. Anything on that palette there. Wheel weights, let's go for that grey. So you see the wheel weight colour, you can have your own wheel weight colour. Uh, roof colour, mix and match out of those three. Rim colour, if I go for that and then change my wheel weight colour to red. There you go, for that version, and then we've got a license plate option on there as well. Let's lease that. And so, this is what it looks like. I have to say, again with this, the level of detail. Look at all the. I mean, it, it does look fantastic. Now get ready, because the horn. <laughs> that is something else. So lighting, beacons if you've gone for them. Not as loud as the other one, but pretty cool. So, L1, R1, left stick side to side opens the roof like that. Right stick side to side opens the door. Right stick up and down. Now that was one of the ones I couldn't work out what it did. Side to side, and then up and down. Something is making a noise. I can hear it, but I can't see what's changing. Very odd. Then R1, right stick side to side. Again, I can't find the thing, but up and down, does the rear window. So there's an option on here somewhere. Like, I thought it might be the mirrors. But the mirrors aren't moving. That's left and right. Up and down. Something is making a noise, but I cannot for the life of me work out what it is. And that's it <laughs> for the mods for Tuesday, the 2nd of April. We got there. Oh, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.